Humans have been in existence for the past 200,000 years, and civilization as we know it has been in existence for the past 6,000 years. For as long as we have existed, it has been our nature to single out a particular person, someone who we believe will be able to lead us to our glory and ensure our survival. Who is this person, you ask? Well, back in the days, we called them our kings. Locally, we said Sultan. In India, they were known as Rajas. More recent terms would be Mr. President, or in our case, Mr. Prime Minister. So many different terms, but they all really mean one thing, and that is a leader. Have you ever stopped to wonder what makes us choose this particular person to become our leader? What makes them so special? Why do they stand out so much to the point where we put all of our trust in them? Worst case scenario, what if we choose the wrong person and they lead us to our downfall? Ladies and gentlemen, Today, I am here to tell you about what makes an excellent leader and how we can all become one ourselves. First and foremost, a good leader is someone who leads by example. This means that he does not only talk the talk, but he also walks the walk. Instead of telling you how something is supposed to be done, a good leader will get into business and do the task with you. He is also someone who practices what he preaches, rather than setting double standards. The great philosopher Sun Tzu once said, Leadership is not a position or a title. It is in fact an action and an example. Ladies and gentlemen, this means that we can also become a great leader ourselves just by setting a good example for other people. An excellent leader will also be courageous and receptive of challenges. He will not be afraid to take on a seemingly difficult task because he knows that the outcome will be worth the effort. The father of the Indian nation the Honorable Mahatma Gandhi became a leader in his own right when he decided to stand up against the British and to fight for India's freedom. The task was daunting. He was faced with intense emotional and physical challenges, most of which he had to endure alone. But he did not give up. Even when his own followers turned their backs on him, and even when his own life was on the line. Here lies true courage, both to stand up for what is right and to push through the face of adversity. As Henry Ford once said, a good leader will look for the opportunity in every difficulty, not for the difficulty in every opportunity. Moving on, a leader has to be humble and respectful of his people. While we expect leaders to be someone who knows it all, it cannot be that way all the time. This is where humility comes to place. Acknowledging that they are also a work in progress and recognizing their faults will allow them to grow and become better leaders in the future. Furthermore, it is important for leaders to respect and listen to their followers. They should know that their followers are the greatest resources as well as the biggest achievements they can get for their dreams. No person should be belittled or made to feel like they are not important enough. As the great Lao Tzu once said, to lead people, walk behind them. You and I can also implement this in our day-to-day -day life. 
simply by practicing humility and listening to our peers, we will be able to lift each other to achieve great heights. Last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, a true leader will act as a trailblazer. Not only will he climb to the top, but he will also provide inspiration and pave the way for others to follow in his suit. The hallmark of great leadership is when a leader inspires his people to reach higher, dream bigger, and achieve greater. Simply said, a great leader will inspire greatness in others. He will also teach them to have confidence, not only in him, but also in themselves. As Confucius once said, a good leader will inspire people to become their followers, but a great leader will inspire people to become more leaders. This can also be applied in our day-to-day -day life. Instead of being selfish and only thinking about our success, we should help our friends to achieve their very own dreams. After all, if you teach people to reach for the stars, they might just bring us back the moon. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I have listed all the attributes needed to make a great leader, namely leading by example, being courageous, open to challenges, humble, respectful, and inspirational. An important thing to note is that by recognizing what makes a great leader, we will be able to become such great leaders ourselves. Now, we may not have big positions like the Prime Minister or the Sultan, but we are the kings and queens of our own lives. And by learning what makes a great leader, we will be able to lead ourselves towards a better life in the future. Truly, let us all become the leaders that we wish we had. Thank you.